Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor, and Creative Commons, does it actually protect you when somebody wants to steal your designs? Okay, so this started as a response to somebody on Facebook who asked this exact question, and it ended with me <laughs> writing out a script to fully and completely explain my thoughts on this subject. Now, I very rarely actually use a script, sometimes an outline, but mostly I just go off the, the cuff. But with a full script here, I have a couple of options, and I decided that instead of you watching me reading a script the whole time, we're going to overlay the video with me modeling this really neat little mo uh, uh, metal that I got, uh, or that I made, because a blog featured me on the top 100 3D printing blogs. Uh, uh, so I'm on that list along with a lot of other great people. I'm not at the top of that list, but I'm super excited to even be on this list. Now, when I made this medal, uh, the reason for making this medal was they, they sent me an image and said, hey, you can use this medal on your blog. And it was, it looked like it was, it was made in MS Paint. And I said, I can do better than that. And so I 3D modeled and 3D printed. My, my goal for this metal was to make it like a gimbal so that it had different parts that span around. But unfortunately, I made it a little too fragile. So it doesn't actually work for that. But as a metal and as a picture, it looks pretty good. So let's switch to the modeling of this as we discuss Creative Commons and how it protects you as a designer, or more accurately, how it protects the people downloading your file for them from copyright. So does Creative Commons stop people from stealing and selling your designs? The short answer is no. The Creative Commons license isn't for you. It's for your users. You have copyright. Just by creating and publishing your work in a tangible format, if somebody takes that, reproduces it, and attempts to sell it, you have the right to take them to court and the precedent to win. The Creative Commons actually relaxes the copyright restrictions, giving downloaders the ability to use your designs and websites to provide them for uploading provided that they follow certain rules that you get to pick because the Creative Commons license is modular, like attribution or not using it for commercial purposes, things like that. Now, does that mean that the Creative Commons license makes it impossible for someone to ignore that license and violate the copyright? No, no, it does not. The Creative Commons license is just words. But in the case that they do ignore the license and violate your copyright, the best thing that can happen is that they actually make a lot of money, preferably in a location that the laws easily apply, so that when you go to a lawyer and say, hey, here's the situation, they start drooling and agree to take your case, sue for punitive damages, and help you out a little bit. Now, so far, no one has been dumb enough to violate Creative Commons license and sell 3D prints from a copyrighted model, and at the same time smart enough to make a lot of money from it. This kind of requires somebody to both be dumb and smart at the same time, so it may never actually happen. But really, that's not what the question is asking. The question is, is saying that people, you've thought about the possibility that somebody could take your hard work and make money from it without giving anything to you, and if that happens, you'd be sad. Maybe you've even seen people selling someone else's designs without attribution, and even though they're not making much, just doing so makes you unhappy, and I understand that. You know, I've got a garden in my backyard. If someone were to sneak in, steal my tomatoes, and sell them, yeah, I'd be upset. Not that I was going to sell them myself, or even eat them, because we got a bumper crop, but, but that's not the point. It would be theft, and the law would support me on that if I cared to pursue it, which I probably wouldn't. I'm just too lazy. All I'd really do is harumph. The thing is, what you're saying is that you're so afraid that someone is going to steal your tomatoes that you're not even going to plant a garden. You know what I'm saying, right? I say don't worry about that. 
are you making something cool or are you not because you don't know what people are going to do with it when you put it out there? Are you making nothing because of fear? Don't do that. Make stuff and then put your stuff out there, which in doing so gets it out of the way so that you can make more cool stuff. The thing is, you really still have a lot to learn about the value of your own ideas and you won't ever learn that with a closed fist. Your 3D model that you have in your head might not even be worth stealing. I know it means a lot to you, but try making it real and share it with others. Let it compete in this marketplace of free 3D files that we have out here, even paid ones. Try to get buy-in from others and as soon as it's out of that magical realm of everything is awesome vania that exists between your ears and into the real world, it's really only got a very thin chance of being as good as you think it is. You know, the funny thing is, in my experience, you can't predict what will be successful. Everything in your head is equally awesome and you won't know what's good until you get it out into the real world. So that's what you got to do. You have to release your stuff. You have to get it out there. You have to see what you've come up with that's worth other people's time. And the more you get stuff out of your head, out into the world, the more room you make for that next great idea that might actually be the one. You hold on to these things in your head, you don't share them, you let fear paralyze you, and you will never get there. Pausing the playback for just one second so I can talk to you directly, I won my first 3D printer by entering design contests. But I lost seven or eight of those design contests before I finally entered one with this. This is, is not just a robot. It disassembles into a chess set. There's the bishop. The knight is, is rocking it here on the foot. Pawns hold the whole thing together. And the king and queen are rocking it in the middle right here. Now you look at that and you say, that is way cool. And I know because I want a 3D printer. But this idea was, in my head, no cooler than any of the other ideas that lost every one of those contests that I entered. I couldn't tell the difference between this really cool idea that was a winner and the other ones that weren't. I had to get them out. I had to constantly be getting them out there in order to find this. And this remains to this day one of the coolest things I have ever created. And I've tried to create a lot of things since then. but. I don't know if I will ever be able to top a, a robot that disassembles into a chess set. Of course, there is some precedent for worrying. You can find people on eBay and elsewhere selling other people's designs without permission, without regard for the license. None of them are doing well enough to maybe merit being sued, but it's enough to make people gun shy, and I get it. But if you're worried about tomato thieves, there are a couple of things you can do about them. One way is to build a huge wall, hire guards, get security cameras, and keep constant vigil over your precious tomatoes. Or, in the terms of 3D printing design, that's the equivalent of not releasing your files and keeping them to yourself. Lots of people do this. But you know what I see? I see walls. Limiting and closing, imposing walls. If you're actually using your models to make money in some way, and not just wishing that you could maybe one day, if you find your audience, maybe, then, okay, if you're actually making money doing it, I support the walls. I support keeping them to yourself and using them in a way that works for you. You do you, and that's great. But if you're not, if you're just kind of holding on to them, maybe walling yourself up isn't the best course of action. Now, with tomatoes, you could also sell them yourself. You put in the work, do the harvest, set up a stand, or contact other stores and make the money for yourself, and that way nobody else can steal your tomatoes and make money without your permission. For 3D printed designs, you can get a 3D printer, set up an Etsy shop, sell your designs. You will learn all about how much inventory to keep, market demands, setting fair prices. You probably won't get rich, but you'll figure out that the people stealing your designs aren't either. Another option with tomatoes is you can move your garden box to the front yard and put up a sign that says, hey, help yourself. Maybe pull some weeds while you're here, right? Sure, there'll be mooches. People walking by that just take them without any permission. There might even people who take them and sell them 
right out from your front yard, but you might also make the news for doing something innovative that nobody else has ever seen. In terms of 3D printing, this means don't worry about what people are doing with your designs that you don't approve of. Do make sure that you brand everything that you make. Put your name or if you have a logo or a business, put it on your design somewhere. Even if it's too small to print, just put your thumb on that uh, design so that you can say for sure that that is yours. Yes, someone could remove the brand, but you're not worrying about that. They're not your audience. What you're doing is associating your work with you, then getting it out there so that other people can find you, and at the same time freeing yourself up to make more and better. And most importantly, you're not stressed. You're just relaxed and doing cool things. You're not stressing about stuff that you can't really or don't want to do anything about anyways. You make enough cool things regularly and you may gain a following that will insist that you set up a Patreon account so they can support you. Who knows? Maybe after a few years of this, you can finally make something that people will actually want to pay for. You will find your audience. The point is, you're not letting anything especially not fear, stop you from reaching your full potential and discovering what that potential is. So basically, go do something awesome and stop giving yourself excuses not to. You know, whether you design for 3D printing or not, I wanna know what's your big idea that for using 3D printing? And I want you to share that in the comments. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid that people are going to steal that idea and actually use it. Because remember what I said, it might not be as cool as you think, but who knows? By sharing it here, it might gain legs. People might give you responses that let you know that maybe you should pursue this a little bit further. You'll never know unless you get it out. So don't be shy. Share your big idea in the comments. Practice getting out of your comfort zone right now and see what happens with it. As always, I want to thank you very much for watching. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for backing me. And hey, there's still room on the tiles if you want to get in on it. Remember, safety first. And I'll see you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The beginner's guide to the 3D printing galaxy is here now for you. Buy it on Amazon.